Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Mark and today I'm going to do like a follow-up on my Creator for Beginners thing. I think you can find it here. And first of all, thank you for uh, 500 subscribers. Milestone. <laughs> Milestone. It only took three years. <laughs> anyway, thank you for 500 subs. Most of you came from my, that video, Creator for Beginners. And one of you, at least one of you asked for a follow-up on clipping. So that's what we're going to do today. So welcome. Um, let's draw something, I think. So here we are in Krita. We are now on Krita 5.2.6, I think. And I wanted to show you the clipping thing with something other than a sphere. Although this lollipop is mostly spherical. And hey, I apologize. I'm sort of out of practice from making videos, especially me talking to you kind of videos. <clears throat> I got sick a few weeks ago. Still have this tickle in my throat, my throat. But bear with me. So I made this sketch uh, before recording this video. After making the reference, I tried to find a lollipop I liked but I couldn't, so I made this in Blender. And that's what we're going to do to use as a reference today. So today, if I color pick, it's okay because it's my reference anyway. <laughs> it's mine anyway. So let's, let's just start. Clipping refers to... What does clipping refer to, by the way? Oh my God. I'm asking for the beginners because most of uh, people who actually do digital art know what clipping is. Though they can't really explain clipping. What it essentially is, is um, painting on a layer below and making sure that the paint does not overflow from the layer that you want. So it's essentially a masking technique. And let's just do some variation of masking. I like to use the polygon tool. I don't know what it's called in Krita, by the way, but it's here. It gives me more control over the selection than the freehand lasso. And it's a bit blocky and I kind of like that effect. So this sort of selection is the kind of mask because you paint inside the selection alone or outside whichever place you have decided to mask off mask mask <laughs> and uh yeah that's sort of a mask it is a mask like it's a selection mask you can even see over here it says selection mask so clipping comes in handy when you don't have that mask so i just deselected it by control d not sure if that's the default or if i change the shortcut you can always come to here select deselect now clipping comes in handy when you've just painted something a lot of things for example sorry and you want to like affect only this layer so in krita or let's say in most other programs what you usually do is you add a layer on top and you do a. Uh... actually it's better if i show you so give me a moment give me a moment okay so here we are. This is Photo P, which is Photoshop's slightly less attractive cousin. <laughs> but it does all the things Photoshop does. So let's go to Brush Tools, if I can find them. And oh, this is Photoshop. So some shortcuts will not work. Where is the color? My goodness. I. Okay, here we are. Let's come in with our red and make. A sphere. So what happens in most programs is you add a layer on top and you click on option or something. Click on the wrong layer. And then this happens. You see uh, an arrow doing that, <laughs> pointing down to the layer. And when you paint on this layer, sorry, maybe let's do that. Make this uh, multiply. Let's do something like that. And you can see I can paint the shadow of the sphere without affecting 
the rest of the or outside the selected area and if i unclip you can see what happens so this is essentially what clipping means so anyway I showed you in most other programs this is what happens but in krita it's sort of different you can't do that and what's krita krita what what am i saying in krita i read and i saw from one of the videos from the official channel this is called alpha inheritance which is a weird thing to say so usually you just click on this alpha symbol and you think that's it but this essentially means you've clipped that layer to this the very bottom layer because what happens in creator is you have you don't clip to a layer you clip to a group and you clip to the very bottom of that group so if i decide to paint on this as a clipping mask it will paint on everything because the very bottom layer is a background layer so to offset that what happens is let me just undo most of that you can right click and say group quick clipping group that's one way the the long way or you can just click the layer you want to clip on and control shift g same thing you make a clipping group and this layer already comes it says it's a mask layer and the alpha is already selected and when you paint on this layer let's do the same thing we did let's make it multiply and we make a shadow like shape you can see it affects only the layer at the very bottom of the group so it's kind of different but you get used to it after a while because it used to make me <laughs> crazy you can see if i uncheck the alpha alpha thing it's the same thing i was telling you so that's what happens and then there's no limit of how many you can use but bear in mind if you add a layer on top of the mask layer it's sort of not clipped unless you click the alpha thing again and so on and so on and so on so let's try that with this lollipop thing just delete those and uh, yeah try and paint this for a few minutes it's not going to be a long tutorial because i don't really need a lollipop painting as i already have the fantastic lollipop render <laughs> over here <coughs> excuse me i'm sorry so let's just paint some stuff i don't think i'll make this a multiply layer cuz i just told you i'm going to color pick most of this cuz we don't have time although we do have time anyway we have the time today and we can decrease the sketch layer just slightly Come back here and uh in the beginning when i started painting i wanted to get in the details as fast as possible i don't know if that's true for you as well because i would have started with this highlight back in the day or this rim light over here which is fine but the problem is you'll end up trying to fix some things that don't need fixing yet you just rather save those bits for for the last that's it's very satisfying when you see those things happen at the end again this is just a demo i'm going to <coughs> excuse me i'm sorry i'm just going to call it like a sketch it's a painted sketch so not much to say about this unless there are questions if you have any questions you can put them in the comments and i'll try and get to them soon so you can take that and use the polygon thing again to do the this thing uh, the polygon tool is this what's it called let's see what it's called <coughs> yeah polygon selection this is a freehand selection this is ellipse this is the marquee the rectangular selection contiguous selection tool or the magic wand is here don't know what this is never used this never used that 
never used this, but I think this is like a pen tool in Photoshop. Yeah, I mostly use the polygon or the lasso pen tool. Maybe something else I might have not mentioned in the previous video. When you use self selection tools, maybe you clicked the wrong place with your mouse or your this thing to unselect just right click i programmed one of my buttons to the right click so the middle button i think i mentioned this but i don't know i'm not sure that video was a long time ago what i did was um this button i programmed it to the middle mouse button and this one to the right <laughs> oh my god i'm sorry um middle mouse right click and uh the middle mouse comes in handy a lot because of the um, I programmed this to color pick and also to help me in navigating so control middle mouse is zoom in and out shift middle mouse is panning and uh, what else control shift middle mouse is rotating and all that you can set all kinds of settings in Krita but most of them I changed because I, again, I spent a lot of time in, in Blender. So I wanted my controls to be the same. Because sometimes it's confusing when you have different programs. And shortcuts are kind of similar but different. So it was easier programming Krita than reprogramming Blender. Yeah. So here we have the stick bit. Do control shift G. And when I say control, by the way, I also mean command for people who use Mac OS. And if I say alt or option, I mean, I also mean the other thing. <laughs> say alt, I mean option. If you say option, I mean alt. For uh, the actual control back button in Mac OS, barely use it. Barely. Sometimes I don't even know why it's there. Anyway, this is the lolly, <coughs> excuse me, lollipop stick. And this is the lollipop itself. We can continue adding layers until the cows come home. Let's add in those purples. Add in this bit of red, dark red, color variation. And then maybe in a different layer, add in the light reds. And since this is just a sketch, we can get away with quite a lot. And maybe, maybe with our blending brushes, we can do a bit of this and a bit of that and a bit of this and a bit of that. And then probably we can play with the highlights now. I've noticed I like, there's a brush I like. It's called the Chalk Grainy. And that's what I use for most of these paintings. Make it a bit sharp on the edges. Yeah, make more yellow. More yellow, this part, and slightly less. Maybe I'll pick that and paint this edge. Or with our friend the polygon tool, we can do something like this, which is again a type of masking in grid. Something like so. Maybe on a layer below that, let's do the blue thing. Click this blueish purple color. Um, let's do linear burn. I need to burn something. I think yeah. so like this. Let's do multiply. Just a little. Just a little. <coughs> Excuse me. Again, sorry. Covering from a cold off it doesn't last but i am grateful that day in the beginning i wasn't able to breathe very grateful for breathing Ooh, very nice very nice and there must be something i haven't clipped yes this this bit and we have a lollipop let me switch off the sketch see how that works but i kind of like the sketch layer Maybe make the sketch there a multiply. You can have those lines inside. So yeah, that's my small tutorial on clipping. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, kindly give the video a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and have a great day. I'm going to go have. <coughs>
very big mug of tea. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Thumbs up. Bye.